Sales is a popular career choice with over 14 million of the entire US population holding a sales or sales related occupation. That's almost 10% of US workers work some way in sales. And of course, there's a wide variety of sales positions available. These include retail, car sales, insurance sales, real estate, advertising, inside sales, field sales. There's tons of different options. And there are many different sales job titles too. We've got sales development reps or SDRs. We've got account executives or AEs, account managers or AMs. And if you're considering getting into sales, it's best to understand these different positions so you can figure out where you fit in and where you want to prioritize your job search. And since on average, there's 2.6 times more account executive roles than there are SDR roles, you might see more job postings for this position and it pays better as well. So in this video, let's take a look at what an account executive is and what they do day to day. Hi, my name is Will Barrow and I'm the founder over at Salesman.org where we make selling simple. Head over to Salesman.org today for more training like this, exclusive videos, podcasts, and much, much more. Okay, so let's jump in to the video. So what the heck is an account executive? Account executives are part of a sales team. It's a job title found primarily in advertising agencies, public relation firms, finance services companies, and technology companies as well. And responsibilities for account executives vary massively, massively from company to company. Some are primarily responsible for building great relationships with potential customers and closing deals. Other account executives support their existing client base and manage and grow new revenue within these accounts. And then some account executives, which is my background in medical device sales, both find new customers, close them, and then grow the accounts as well. It's quite a broad way of describing a sales role. And it's important to note that even though account executives are called executives, they're not really executives in the traditional sense because they don't manage a team and they're not higher up in the food chain in most organizations. Instead, think of an account executive role as being the primary company contact for new and existing clients. So what the heck does an account executive do. Well, account executive duties vary, again, depending on the specific business and the specific industry that they work in. For example, if the account executive is responsible for closing new business and managing existing accounts, their activities day to day may include things like negotiating and closing business, retaining existing customers by supporting them and developing better, stronger client relationships, growing existing customer accounts to increase their revenue, coordinating all tasks related to these accounts, whether that be customer service and customer support. It's likely that the account executive is identifying new potential accounts for the company and developing wider, broader sales strategies based on industry trends and data guiding potential customers through the buying process, preparing for and attending client meetings, including discovery calls, product demos and presentations, and much, much more as well. And account executive roles are awesome because they pay really well if you're successful in the job and you're covering such a broad range of topics. You're essentially running your own business with inside your larger corporation, and that is extremely fun and fulfilling. So what the heck is an account executive doing day to day? What is the day to day routine. And this is difficult to pick up from a job description alone because the job description is not going to tell you what type of software you're using. It's not going to give you a broad range of responsibilities. It's not going to give you much detail. So what the heck does an account executive do? Let me explain. An account executive day is anything but boring. It's action packed. It's nonstop from start to finish. So let's say the account executive or AE typically starts their day around 7.30 and it ends maybe 4.30, 5.30, depending on how hard you want to hustle. So in the morning, you're going to be checking and responding to emails from customers and prospects, ensuring that you're timely with all your communications. There's probably going to be some kind of daily sales meeting to solve problems and set the day's priorities for all the account managers within the company. You're going to be social selling on LinkedIn. You're going to be researching and preparing for the day's sales calls. And then as we move into lunch, as we move into the afternoon, we're going to be looking at discovery calls with new accounts, product demos, building proposals and presentations, email activities to follow up on. It's going to be chasing up deal progress, checking in with potential customers, responding to questions about products, the market, anywhere where you could share your expertise and starting conversations with prospects through all of your prospecting as well. And of course, this is the more laborious side of working as an account executive. There's going to be internal meetings sprinkled throughout your week, your day, 
your month, including weekly departmental kickoffs, team meetings, one-on-ones with your manager and sales leadership as well. And there might be a few what we call after-hours priorities that you need to handle as well. Depending on the size of the company that you're working for and the deal size that you're aiming at, there might be networking events. You might be taking clients out for meals, presentations, that side of things. And all that's typically going to happen when you close your laptop and you wrap up for the day. So some nights you might be working pretty late in the role. So one of the most common questions I get asked about account executive roles is what's the difference between an account executive and an account manager? Well, although both of these roles work directly with customers, account executives typically are responsible for converting new clients into new potential customers. But in some organizations, account managers, they very specifically take over the role once a deal has been done and they're there to grow the account. So you're sold on the idea of becoming an account executive. What skills do you need to have success in the role? Well, first off, and some of these are pretty obvious, right? You need great communication and interpersonal skills. Because you're going to be corresponding with clients day in, day out, being able to communicate with them effectively is obviously very important. Next, you need high levels of empathy. You've got to have the ability to put yourself in your prospect's shoes, understand their challenges, and try and resolve them. Next, you've got to be a good problem solver. So the ability to work through issues, identify problems, and work through all of this on your own without massive input from other people within your organization is going to have a significant influence on your success in an account executive role. You need to be able to think on your feet without calling your manager, without calling the product manager, without bringing in other people, because that's what you're getting paid for. You're getting paid for your expertise in your industry and on your product, solving your buyer's problems. Next up, you've got to have great organizational skills. So the average account executive is juggling many different topics as we covered towards the top of this video. There's tons of different activities that you're going to be doing day in, day out. And if you're not on top of your own personal organization and time management, you're just going to be an absolute mess and it's all going to fall flat on its face. You also need the skill of perseverance. So account executives are going to encounter many challenges each day. And it's important not to give up. You've got to be able to persist long term because these are larger deal sizes. You're not some pesky used car salesperson trying to just flog a car to anyone who comes on the forecourt. Typically, your deal sizes are going to be a week, a month, three years. And so you need high levels of persistence. Next, you need excellent teamwork skills. And whether you like it or not, and this is something I was never very good at in my medical advice sales roles, sales is a team sport. You've got to be a team player. Even though there's value in you being able to solve problems on your own, sometimes you need to bring in the cavalry in account executive roles. Then, of course, you need sales skills. Excellent sales skills are necessary to win new clients and to sell new services to existing clients. And that's what you're here to do. If you want to learn more about how you can improve your sales skills, head over to salesman.org and check out our Selling Made Simple Academy today. And finally, you've got to be what we call teachable. This is more of a characteristic in your personality than a skill set that you pick up over time. But it's essential if you want to achieve success within an account executive role. There's going to be constant product updates, market changes, and evolving sales strategies as well. There's always something new to learn in sales. And so it's important to have this desire and want to need to learn and grow as well. All of these skills are essential as an account executive all of these skills are essential as an account executive if you want to hit your target and start making some serious money. And talking about money, what is a typical account executive salary? Well, according to the Bridge Group, the average base salary of an account executive is $66,000 a year with on-target earnings or an OTO of an estimated annual income of $130,000 per year. Pretty good, right? Not bad for a sales role. And of course, these are averages. And an account executive salary can vary on the industry, the products, your seniority, the geography, where you're based, and a whole lot more as well. According to Glassdoor.com, account executive salaries can start as low as $35,000 a year. But I know a couple of individuals that work for a very large CRM company who are easily, easily clearing over a million dollars a year in commissions. And so account executive roles can start off small, they can grow to as big as your skill set and the amount of hustle that you want to put in can provide. So there we have it. That is what an account executive role consists of, the day-to-day -day activities that you'll be doing, how much you're going to get paid for it, and a whole lot more. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click down here and watch the next video and continue your sales education.